Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Weekly Rewind presented by Attractions Magazine. This episode is for Monday, April 20th, 2015. I'm your host, Banks Lee. Let's take a look back at the past seven days of our Twitter feed at Attractions. On Monday, April 13th, we tweeted a couple of videos you can see on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Attractions Magazine. So we're actually going to start off on April 14th, Aaron's pod on twitter shared this photo of the epcot starbucks you are here mugs are back in stock at the fountain view at epcot they were originally there but the monorail had purple on them and and out of respect for the uh, cast member who passed away when monorail purple crashed in 2009 they pulled those from the shelves but now they are back in stock you see the monorail's color has been changed to silver so if you're collecting all these mugs definitely get out there and pick this one up also on April 14th, we shared this photo of Madame Tussauds. The outside of the building there, you can see a giant mural has been created with a bunch of the celebrities that you can meet inside there. Sea Life also has its own aquarium uh, mural. So all this will open on May 4th officially, so be sure to head out there and check it out. Over at Downtown Disney on April 14th, we shared this photo of a new store that's going over near D Street, Superhero Store. It's actually going to be the first strictly marvel themed store to open at walt disney world so this will be definitely a a cool place to go and get all your uh, marvel needs bio reconstruct on twitter shared this photo of one of the amphicars from the boathouse driving at full speed on the lake outside of disney springs the boathouse did open this past week and here you can see this vine post that uh, he took as well of the amphicars going past the boathouse there it's definitely a, a unique opportunity to do would be fun to ride in them the price in my opinion is a bit steep but if you want to learn more information you can uh, check out our website at trackersmagazine.com see a video of uh, the inside of the boathouse and of the amphicars going along the water there moving on to april 15th magic city mayhem on twitter shared this photo of the characters from the sinbad stunt show out doing meet and greets i don't know if this is a thing where they do this during the busy times of the year i know beetlejuice has done this uh every now and then between shows i like this idea though because it's not often you get a chance to get a photo with the people that are in the shows Dave H787 on Twitter shared this photo from the Magic Kingdom. As you can see, the partner statue in the hub is back behind construction walls as the uh, expansion of the hub continues. Lots of construction now going on around the central part and the uh, parts over there by the stage as well. Also on April 15th, we were over at the AMC Theater at Disney Springs, and we found this Tomorrowland stand-up that you can actually go and pose like you're inside the spaceship. Great little marketing tool there. We'll talk more about Tomorrowland in a little bit. Moving on to April 16th, Bio Reconstruct shared this photo of the Orlando Eye testing its lighting system at night. It's very colorful lights. Definitely going to be a, uh, f- a focal point uh, on Eye Drive at night uh, from here on out. It's very, very beautiful. Also on April 16th, we were at SeaWorld for the grand opening of Clyde and Seymour's Sea Lion High. You can see here's the media badge. It's acting like a, like a high school ID. I like that. It's really cool. They had one for Clyde and one for Seymour. And all guests that were attending the show that day were getting these special buttons to commemorate the opening of Sea Lion High. And here's some of the merchandise that was being sold outside of the theater. Lots of fun elements in this show. you got to definitely check this out if you're at SeaWorld. There's some uh, great references, too. Like this one right here is a reference to the former Clyde Seymour Take Pirate Island show. And then, of course, this one obviously a Jaws reference so you, you, it's a cute show I think it's a great replacement a great update to the show definitely want to check it out we have highlights on our YouTube channel as well uh, that night on April 16th we were over at the Orlando Eye for the official lighting of the uh, observation wheel first time they were lighting it up for the public uh, they had a great little ceremony there you can check out our YouTube channel for highlights from that on April 17th over at Epcot was the first day for the Tomorrowland sneak peek preview inside the Magic Eye Theater at the Imagination Pavilion. This show casing about 15 minutes, 15, give or take a minute or two, from the movie. It's a wonderful preview. I've seen it four times already. I, I'm in love with this movie, and it hasn't even come out yet. Uh, I, I, you got to go see this preview over at Epcot. And on this day, actually, it was a annual pass holder preview, and pass holders that were there got to get this pin right here. It's the pin from all the marketing. Neat little uh, giveaway. I'm sure they're going to give this a pin out to more at more events, possibly even sell it. I mean, it's a pin. They, they gotta, they're going to make a lot of money if they sell this for sure. 
this jetpack from the movie was on display in the pre-show area uh, of the sneak peek, but after about a day or two, it was taken out and hasn't been seen since. Uh, don't know why. It's the only piece uh, from the movie that was on display here at Walt Disney World, so I don't know why they'd have it out on the first day and then take it away. <laughs> the mystery of Tomorrowland. Uh, also on April 17th, Star Wars Celebration began over at Anaheim Convention Center. You can see this group of rebels here getting a photo out in front of the convention center. Lots of coverage on this on our Twitter and on our YouTube, so you check that out. Also on April 17th, over at Universal Studios Florida, Bumblebee was meeting guests in a new way. He was interacting with them through his radio, so various songs based on the uh, situation would play over the speakers. Really neat interactive elements uh, for, for guests uh, when they go and meet Bumblebee. I would love to see the others maybe do some personalized greeting to the guests in the future. We'll see what happens, but you can check our YouTube channel for a look at this meet and greet. And over at Epcot in the Imagination Store, they have Big Thunder Mountain Railroad Number 1, new Marvel and Disney Kingdoms comic. You can see also have Figment, too. i got to pick this up. I want to read this because Figment was really good. So I'm hoping Big Thunder Mountain is also a good read. Moving on to April 18th, the Don Brand Show Foundation's 5th Annual Dream Big 5K took place over at SeaWorld. It's a great run for a great cause. BioReconstruct on Twitter shared this photo from Disney's Hollywood Studios. You can see the Chinese theater there. It definitely looks like they're giving it some love, giving it some uh, refurbishment um, updates to it. But he was saying that inside the construction wall, there was some work going on in there. No idea what's going to be built in the place where the hat used to be. I'm hearing rumors there might be a permanent stage put there. The only time will tell. And finally, on April 19th, we shared this Vine post from Once Upon a Toy of some new slap plush Disney characters. Kind of like the slap bands, but it's their arms, so it's like they're hugging you. I think it's really cute. Definitely want to get them one of those. And that is going to do it for the Weekly Rewind this week. Be sure to tune into the show this Thursday. We'll have a look at the grand opening of Sea Lion High at SeaWorld and the official first lighting of the Orlando Eye. So tune in on Thursday. Until next week, have fun, guys. We'll see you later.